Hey Aries, welcome to your November reading. This is for someone rising Venus. Check out your other placements for additional messages. As this is a general reading, messages may or may not apply. Just take what resonates and leave what doesn't for the next person. I could be picking up on someone around you or someone you could be dealing with so you might have to swap the rules. And if this reading doesn't resonate right away, it may be something that happens down the line. If you'd like, keep it in your back pocket or you can come back at a later time. We're gonna take a look into what messages need to come through for you guys for the month of November. See what you guys could be currently dealing with or what you can expect. Get some insight, wisdom, and guidance overall. See what is going on for you guys. I hope you're doing well. And let's see what's going on for Aries in November 2020. What's happening? Messages for Aries, summarizing Venus, any animal oracle messages for my Aries people. <laughs> Aries, summarizing Venus, what's happening for them in November? Any messages, please? Messages for Aries, summarizing Venus for November 2020. Messages for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for November 2020. We have the frog. Aw, you guys might be in your feelings. That is okay. Make sure you let it out. Messages for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for November. We have the nightingale. You need to just definitely express yourself and speak your truths. Get it off your chest. Get it off your chest. I don't know what, but speak it. Say it. Sing it. Cry it out. And the turtle... All right, so we got a little bit of water and a little bit of air coming out. So let's talk about this. The frog first coming out. The frog is the energy of needing to purge and release and fully express yourself, especially if you have been holding in your emotions, if you've been feeling sad recently, to let it out. Don't bottle it in. I know it's easier to just pretend you're okay and move on with your day, but seriously, when you bottle up your emotions and you hold that in, that keeps us stuck, that keeps us stagnant, also gets in the way of our healing process. So if you've been trying to heal from something and you haven't fully allowed yourself to either speak your truth, right, with that nightingale energy mean to come clean and get some things off your chest or to let yourself feel what it is that you feel, whether you're angry, whether you're upset, whether you want to cry or just vent or just needing to make peace and let it go and just feel whatever it is that you're feeling. You know, we may think we're okay, but deep down we're not. And then we end up attracting similar situations or people or scenarios or outcomes because we haven't fully closed that chapter out. We haven't fully closed out that cycle. And until we do so, it's going to keep on being repetitive. The same messages in these readings are going to keep coming out until you change whatever this is that needs to be changed. So if there's something you're needing to feel or express, please do so. All right, this does talk about you guys needing to lighten the load, you know? You might have a lot of baggage on your back. You might have a lot on your mind, a lot on your plate. You got a lot of things going on in your life, but you need to lighten the load. So I'm a water sign, I'm a cancer, and let me just tell you guys, if you've been holding in your emotions, if you have been holding back your tears, let it out. Just five minutes, 10 minutes, take yourself away, have some time for yourself, just let it out. Because once you cry, even if you don't have a reason to cry, if you're not even, you just feel sad, you don't know why, that's okay, you don't need to have a reason why. Just let it out, because you feel so much lighter after having that good old cry. If you, if you don't wanna be caught crying, or you need an excuse, put on like a sad movie, or some sad music or something, just really get in your feels, and allow yourself to feel, because I guarantee you, nine out of 10 times, you're gonna feel so much lighter. Allowing yourself to cry or expressing your emotions does not make you weak. It shows your strength, okay? Then we have Nightingale. The Nightingale is all about expressing and communicating and getting things off your chest. So if you're needing to express yourself or talk to somebody or you're needing to communicate to someone on how they made you feel or get something off your chest, if that's part of this whole healing process that's going to help set you free, so that you're able to move on with your life and feel lighter, do it, okay? Because the Nightingale does talk about needing to express yourself and express yourself in your truest form and not holding yourself back or watering yourself down for anybody or sugarcoat shit, all right? Say it how it is. The Nightingale is also the energy of being artistic through expressing music, writing lyrics, singing. Some of you might actually be singing about a heartbreak or you're using some sort of heartbreak or pain and you're writing about it or you're making music singing about it. I don't know what that's about, that's very specific, so that might only be for like a very slim amount of whoever's listening to that, but if that's for you, you'll know. And there's something in here 
for you in this reading. And then we have the turtle. I'm not actually too familiar with the turtle, not gonna lie. So I'm just gonna get straight to the book because I don't wanna be saying some shit that has nothing to do with the card. Um, what I can say is the turtle with the water energy, I'm getting almost Cancerian from this because Cancer, I'm a Cancer, Ayo. Turtle, right? They have their shell, it protects them. So the turtle goes inward right to protect themselves to hide so you guys might be needing to take a moment to like go hide in your shell cry it out feel what you feel and then come out when you're good <laughs> i don't know what that's all right let me just get the book okay but i don't know why maybe some of you have cancer in your chart so i'm just gonna read it from the book ancient soul grounded trusting at home in the self it is wonderful to be in the presence of a turtle personality. Like the beaver, the turtle has a strong relationship with their earth and water elements simultaneously. I do think um, frog has earth and water as well. I'm just saying, I'm just saying that for the future. Um, this helps ground and connects them to deeper truths of life no matter where their travel leads them. Turtle energy is behind all great writers and storytellers as they collect life experiences under their shells for later use. The most potent turtle energy helps us close all other books and begin to tell our own true tale. One in balance, peaceful, adventurous, and productive. One out of balance, slows down to a halt, and to bring in a balance of an adventure. So, okay, I'm kind of feeling like some of you are writers or singers, you know, you maybe create some sort of art by using your experiences you've gone through as inspiration or the theme that you may incorporate into your work, into your talents. So some of you might have gone through some pain, but it's about using that pain and turning that into something beautiful. I don't know, I'm just getting like, turning something so negative, something so devastating into something beautiful. Am I reading for like a singer or artist of some sort, a writer, author? Cause that's kind of what I'm getting from this. Anyways, so. There's that. I'm gonna get the frog. Clearing, cleansing, and healing. Perfect. The frog and the water element are almost inseparable. The frog spends its first months of life entirely within this healing element and then emerges to rest on land. But no matter how earthly the frog becomes, its need for cleansing and rejuvenation is regular. Frogs tend to become overworked and undernourished, so it's vital that such sensitive creatures practice self-care. This card serves as a reminder that water helps us cleanse, forgive, and release. Time to dive in. Frogs aren't meant to carry a heavy load. One in balance, clear energy and enthusiasm for life. One out of balance, depleted and running on empty. And to bring in a balance, surrounding yourself somewhere near water, a lake, river, ocean, or bathhouse. Even taking a salt bath, um, going out in the rain, letting the rain cleanse you. This is all about cleansing and healing and clearing. And this has been a theme for every sign I've read for November. Seriously, like blockages and clearing the blockages and moving forward and like, you know, but that's what's been going on astrologically. Like the last couple months from September to like mid November is all about clearing and cleansing so that the rest of 2020 is a clear path and we're able to move forward towards our goals. So right now, this time right now that we're all going through collectively, we are all going through this purging phase. And I just did Scorpio's reading and Scorpio is all about purging. It's just like, this has just been so repetitive for every sign. So I don't know, man, I guess I'm just really picking up on the collective or some shit. But this is all about everybody needing to heal and cleanse and forgive and release and let go. Um, and talking about self-care. Take care of yourself, be kind to yourself, and be your own best friend during these times, all right? The Nightingale, fearless voice, speech, communication, or song. The song of the Nightingale is otherworldly. The simple brown bird, almost unnoticeable among the flashy plumage of other birds, transports its listener to the realm of poetry. Nightingale energy is with us when we write, compose, and especially when we sing. It reminds us that music heals the deepest wounds. This card indicates a need to open the bridge between the heart and the voice. Is there something you need to say? How long has it been since you sang? Turn it up, write it down, and let it out. When in balance, sings, speaks freely with kindness. When out of balance, shy, lump in the throat. And to bring the balance, music. So I'm feeling as if like music is really going to help you guys with healing. Whether you're the music writer and you produce music, and you make music or you play music or you're learning to play an instrument or you just really love to listen to music maybe right now you are listening to a certain song that is representative of what you're going through um something about music is definitely gonna help you too 
all right or writing your own music maybe some of you're like oh i can never write music but like why not give it a chance make your song like you never know man you could be the next taylor swift <laughs> i'm just kidding um okay so we're gonna post some tarot get some messages for aries someone rising venus for november 2020 any messages for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for November 2020? What's going on for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in November? <sighs> What's going on for Aries, please, in November 2020? Any messages for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for November? Messages for Aries, please. And thank you. Messages for Aries, please, for November 2020. Messages for Aries, someone rising Venus. We have the Emperor in the reverse, Aries energy. You guys are out of your element, okay? Maybe you're feeling as if something right now in your life is completely out of your control. And that just might be it. Something happened, maybe came to an end, or something that you're trying to heal from was completely out of your control. The only control you have is within yourself. How you react to situations how you speak to yourself and others and what you do moving forward you can either learn the lesson that came with whatever you've gone through or you can choose to ignore it and miss the message miss the lesson and repeat it until you fully understand until you fully learn okay let me see what else needs to come out for aries please in november 2020 any messages for aries someone rising venus for november 2020 and shuffle oh just kidding we have the star coming out aquarian energy I'm gonna shuffle once more though. Messages for Aries. Some, okay, Queen of Swords and the King of Pentacles in the reverse. Some of you had to cut out someone who was fully all about them or cut something out of your life that was not helping you in the long run. Maybe it was really painful. This could have been a heartbreak or a separation. We have the Two of Wands in the reverse at the bottom of the deck, the Seven of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. Oh yeah, you're moving on. You're moving away from something. You're letting something go once and for all. So let's talk about this. The Emperor in the reverse. So something's out of control. Whether this is like the divine intervention or it was out of your hands if the ball was in their court someone you are connecting with someone who you are dealing with somebody maybe did something or something happened it was out of your hands it was out of your control it might have been very overwhelming it could have been very stressful um right now you're needing to take time to ground yourself to really cleanse yourself to focus on allowing yourself to feel whatever it is that you feel because right now you are totally out of your element you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed maybe even unorganized with the things in your life just feeling stressed out to the max okay but guess what although you might not be in the best place mentally emotionally spiritually or even financially at this moment maybe covid has messed up your business ideas or something about your business this does talk about entrepreneurship and the fact that it's in the reverse maybe you guys are struggling a little bit financially i'm just throwing it out there take it or leave it um but there is hope there is something positive that will come out of this you are still staying hopeful about the future even though right now is not where you want to be things will change it won't always be like this and that this is just part of the process just to stay hopeful and look for the light in the darkness so the star aquarian energy this is all about you guys embracing your authenticity and speaking your truth and not watering yourself down for anyone all right not tolerating less right we got that queen of swords energy not tolerating less only tolerating the truth and only the truth and the nightingale did talk about the truth as well um so there might be some sort of communication or you're speaking your truth communicating your truth to others and some people may not like that there could be some sort of enviness or jealousy around you so protect your energy of course um, be very aware of who is around you, who's supporting you versus who's trying to drag you down, of course. Because if there's someone who's trying to drag you down, you know, the drill. Queen of Swords with the King of Pentacles in the reverse. Cutting out with that sword, that blade you got right there. Cutting out people who are all about themselves, self-centered. Whatever this is that you could have been going through, maybe made you realize the people around you weren't really the best supporters like they never really supported you the way you maybe supported them during their hard times and so this situation that you could have gone through made you realize that certain relationships weren't balanced in your life and with that realization i definitely feel like there's a bit of you know this energy of feeling angry or a little bit upset but looking at the facts and being logical and just realizing that maybe these people weren't who you truly thought they were 
You know, you could have been making excuses for them in the past, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Doesn't matter. You're looking at the facts now and you're realizing and you're seeing people for who they truly are. All right. So no more bullshit. You're standing your ground, laying down the law, laying down the boundaries too, not allowing anybody to cross them. Right. And, you know, you've changed a lot. You've grown so much from this. And there will be blessings that come to you in the future with that star because the star is all about wishes and dreams and your manifestations too so you don't want people like that people who don't even really appreciate you or are there for you especially when you're going through a hard time and you've been there for them but they haven't been there for you you know it's very unbalanced and so when this blessing comes in you're going to be grateful you don't have these little leeches in your life anymore because they're just going to try and use you for your money, your fame, your success, things like that. So it's better to see the reality of these people now than when you're successful, especially, see, if some of you are writers or musical singers or you produce music or something that's like, you know, you might be in the eye or you may have an audience or maybe you have an audience right now or down the line, you're gonna gain an audience. You don't want these leeches in your life, okay? I'm just saying. Anyway, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the two of wands in the reverse. You know how I was saying you either can choose to keep repeating the cycle over and over and over again, or you can learn the lesson moving forward and steer into a new direction. Well, the two of wands in the reverse, you made up your mind, you are wrapping up a cycle. You chose the world, you chose the globe, the world wrapping up and ending so that there's a new beginning, right? So you made that decision. I'm not gonna continue down this path. I'm taking a hard left, you know? So good on you because you've seen the reality of a situation or these relationships or something just wasn't what you thought it was. But now you know, now you see. And with that seven of pentacles in the reverse, it's like you're not going to waste any more time or energy or your money in these situations anymore. You know better, you're stealing the facts and you got shit to do. You got bigger fish to fry. So where are you going away from that? You're leaving that behind. You're moving to a new direction and a much more peaceful time. You're moving out of the choppy waters. So especially if you have been going through an emotional time, you're leaving that. It's a process. It's not going to just happen overnight, especially if you are trying to heal from something. But just know with time, healing will happen. Be patient with yourself. You got this and you are never alone. Wow, yeah, Aries. So we have some Libra energy, we have Aquarius, we have some Earth and Air. It's basically all Air and Earth in this reading. And a little bit of fire, like a little sprinkle of fire. Okay, so <clears throat> we're gonna get some treasures from Takashi to go along with this. But yeah, you don't need that. You don't need that. Any treasures from Takashi <clears throat> for Aries, summarizing Venus for November 2020. Feel like you guys are also moving out of a period of stagnancy in your life. Two of Wands in the reverse with the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. Those two cards are very like slow paced and kind of stuck or waiting, you know? But that Six of Swords that came out at the bottom of the deck, it's like finally movement. But that's because you got rid of the things in your life that were keeping you stagnant, the relationships or the situations or environment that you were surrounding yourself in. That was what was keeping you stuck and stagnant and also probably keeping you sad or in a really bad mindset. Um, so by you removing what's no longer helping you on your journey, you can also write about that for my writers out there, Ayo. But um, it's what's helping you move forward. It's helping you move in a new direction and it's going to be taking you to your blessings so i do feel like this was definitely some divine intervention going on as well like that emperor in the reverse kind of something that came out of your control but it was for the benefit of your purpose and your future self well thank you for this so yeah anyways treasures from Takashi for um aries one more shuffle all right as <laughs> <laughs> Mercury retrograde is still fucking me. Okay, treasures from the Kashi for Aries, summarizing Venus, compassion, messages. Okay, awakening, totally, totally, and flexibility. Okay, okay. So, compassion, let's talk about this. Allow tenderness and kindness into your thoughts and actions and soften your attitude towards yourself and others. Feel how good it is to be kind to yourself. Lovingly allowing the journey of others, you can be there for them with understanding and support. Let go of sympathy and allow compassion. Allow the feminine energy of gentleness to enter your daily life. 
we have awakening. Rousing from the inactivity of the past or having held yourself back, now is the time to wake up to what can be achieved and shake yourself into action. Awaken to your potential, awaken to your love, and awaken to yourself. And then we have flexibility. Be adaptable and free to move in any direction. Be open to rapid changes as you bend with the wind for branch only breaks when it becomes brittle and stiff. Allow yourself to be rigidly flexible at all times. Flexibility of mind equals flexibility in body. Let go of your aches and pains by creating a flexible outlook. It may be the time to look at things from a perspective you've never considered before. And that's all part of that awakening, right? Realizing and being flexible with your perspective and also having that compassion for yourself to actually look at things from a different understanding or a different perspective than you may have never considered before. I'm going to get some affirmation to go along with this and wrap up the reading. So any affirmations for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for November 2020? Any affirmations for Aries, please, for November 2020? What's going on? We have ability and success. So what was I saying? You guys are reaching this place, moving forward into a time where you will achieve and be successful and do many great things with your life. And you don't need those leeches in your life or people who will just drag you down. We don't have time for that. You got things to do. And you gotta have people around you who inspire you to be the best version of yourself. And, you know, people who are doing things with their life too, making moves as well. Surrounding yourself with like-minded people. So affirmations for Aries, someone rising. Affirmations for Aries, someone rising Venus for November 2020. We have laugh at life and rebirth. Ooh, okay. Yes, okay, so let's talk about this. So ability and success. You are being directed and what you see as a struggle is fading away. Opportunities are opening up in a number of directions. Affirmation, I am successful. So you guys are being redirected. Whatever you were in right now or in the past, recent past, was not for your highest purpose. And you're being redirected from that. That was what was keeping you stuck. That was what was keeping you stagnant and getting in the way of your purpose, of your journey to your happiness and your fulfillments. And so finally... Removing those blockages, removing those things, relationships, you are being directed in a way where you're going to have many opportunities coming up and you're going to go after what brings you that happy. Those dreams, those fulfillments, that star energy that we were talking about earlier. Be ready to receive, be flexible, be open-minded. We have laugh at life. It's time to play and have fun, laugh and watch the universe join in, the see us in natural affinity with the sea, moving through it effortlessly. Do the same with life. Affirmation, I'm enjoying life. So enjoy the process. I know right now you guys might be going through a bit of an emotional time or might be intense or heavy or frustrating or sad. To change your perspective in a way you haven't considered before and try to laugh at things. Be appreciative of the small things. There's always something you can be grateful for. Being appreciative for the things that you have in your life that others may not have. Have, such as a roof over your head, clean water to drink, a meal to eat, a bed to sleep in, things like that. Doesn't matter how big or small it is, you don't have to be a rich millionaire in a mansion driving a nice fancy car to be grateful for the life you live. No, being grateful for where you are right now, your journey, even the pain you've gone through, being grateful for the lessons it's taught you and how it's brought you to where you are today and how you know yourself better than you did a year ago or 10 years ago, you know? growing so much because of these experiences because of that asshole who broke your heart you know you have changed because of them and even though it was painful to look at the blessing not like trying to be all toxic positivity because you're totally allowed to be upset and angry and hurt but to try to change that perspective because perspective is key so that might help you moving forward is trying to just take on a little bit of a lighter perspective because at the end of the day nothing stays the same everything is constantly changing you're changing constantly and guess what this life we live will not last forever so might as well make the most of it all right we are on a rock floating in the middle of space and then we have rebirth change comes through new understanding which we were just talking about that changing that perspective forgiveness and recognizing wisdom gained through these experiences wow that's totally what i was just saying spiritual awareness grows and the meaning of love is understood affirmation i am spiritually aware i don't even need to add on to that because that just ties in with everything i was saying so you guys are rebirthing changing growing learning to laugh at life a little bit more not take things as seriously 
and to recognize that you can be successful and you have the ability to live the life that you deserve all right so that is what i got for you guys for november 2020 if you guys got something from this reading let me know in the comments below thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you in the next one bye